Hi, this is Vasri from At Home. In this video, let us learn how to calculate the mean using the step deviation method. So the steps are listed out here. For the step deviation method of calculation for the grouped data, okay? The data would be, you know, with class individual, it is grouped data. The formula is x bar equals a plus sigma fd over n times i where n is this total of uh, frequency and a is the assumed mean and d is the deviation f is the frequency and i would be the class size now let us look at a problem here here the problem states the table below gives the percentage distribution of female teachers in the primary schools of rural area of various states and union territories of India. Okay, find the mean percentage of female teachers by step deviation method. As I told you, if the method is specified, you have to stick on to that particular method only. And if the problem is silent regarding which method you need to do it, then it is left to you, whichever you are comfortable with, you can proceed with that. Okay. So here is the table given. They have given you the percentage of female teachers. Okay. And the number of states and union territory is given as this. Okay. So the class interval. Let us take down the class interval in the first uh, columns. So it is 15 to 25, 25 to 35, 35 to 45, 45 to 55, 55 to 65, 65 to 65, 65 to 85. Okay, I've taken down all the class intervals. And you know the class size is 10, right? It is 15 to 25. So the class size is, uh, let me write down that your i, class size is i, i equals 10, okay? And the frequency also let us take down. So that's 6, 11, 7, 4, 4, 2 and 1. Now let us find the mid value for the class interval. I told you already it is your x is equal to upper limit plus lower limit 15 plus 25 over 2 right divided by 2. So the mid value here is 20 okay. Then next it is 30, 40, 50. Each case you have to calculate the mid value by adding the upper and lower limit and dividing it by 2 okay you do that for all the class intervals and I got it like this now I'm going to find the deviation okay for for finding the deviation first you have to uh, assume a uh, assumed mean right a mean value so I just take the middle value this as a okay so let me write down that also a is equal to 50 okay in this case I have taken a as 50 now the deviation would be x minus a divided by the class interval okay I just show you for the first one so your deviation is equal to x x in this case is 20 right 20 minus 50 divided by the class size class size here is 10 so that will give you so that is minus 3 here it is minus 2 this is negative 1 you get 0 here 1 2 and 3 okay just you do the same calculation and divide every time you're dividing that is the difference in step deviation method from that of the assumed mean method okay here you divide by the class size each value you divide by the class size so that is to make the number even more smaller now you need to find the f and d the you have to multiply 1 and 3 here okay so 1 times 3 is equal to it's negative 18 okay 6 times negative 3 is negative 18 11 times negative 2 is negative 22 
7 times negative 1 is minus 7. Here it is 0 times 4, 0. 4 times 1 is 4. 2 times 2 is 4 again. And 3 times 1 is 3. Find the total of this. So that would be sigma fd, right? Sigma fd is equal to, when I do the calculation, I'm getting it as minus 36. And here, let me find the total of the frequency sigma f, or you can also call it capital N, okay? This is equal to 35. Now let us do the calculation. So here, I have already given you the formula. It is A plus sigma fd over N, capital N, times I, okay? So that would be assumed mean is 50, right? 50 plus sigma fd is minus 36 over the total of frequencies 35 times 10. And you get your mean value as 50. This portion you do first and then you take away the value from 50, okay? Since it is minus, I'm, I have to, I'll get minus uh, 10.29. That implies x bar is equal to 39.71. Okay? That is all. The only difference here is, by calculating the deviation, like the, the difference in this step deviation method from that of the assumed mean method is that you divide the deviation from the x value from the assumed value by the class size okay here the class size is 10 and then you divide each of those values by class size so that you get smaller number and calculation would be easier but while doing the calculation care should be taken that you multiply this with the class size okay because you have already divided all by class size right so you have to multiply that by the class size and get the answer hope this is clear to you and the step deviation method is very easy just note down the formula and stick on to the calculations carefully thank you bye